Hi, and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is Corn Moon Tarot, and if you have clicked on my video, you have been divinely guided here, so congratulations. Give yourself a pat on the back. Um, we are going to be discussing a yes or no to whatever question or topic. I'm so sorry, but as I'm recording there, this, there is this little boy outside of a Burlington carrying this huge palm, street, palm tree stick. I have no idea where his parents are. What is this? What is he doing, man? It's like in this little gated area. I mean, can he get out? Okay. I think he's good. Oh, oh, he's got the stick. He's got the stick. Okay. Okay. I think he has to leave without the stick. boy. Okay. Go back in your backyard. All right. So, where was I? Okay. So, today's pick a card is... Pick a photo is yes or no to whatever topic or question you have been wondering and need a freaking answer well you found your gal i am here corn moon tarot is here to save the day so pick a movie photo even if you haven't seen the movie pick whatever you feel drawn to whether it be johnny depp you know and you've loved the amber heard case or margot temenbaum because you love how depressed looking she is or just the movie funny face right in the middle so yeah, the first one is from Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. The second one is from Funny Face. And the third one is from the Royal Tenenbaums. Yes, so whatever color or sequence of photo that you are drawn to, trust it. And I will be here to guide you. Make sure to subscribe and like because there will be new videos and all that jazz. So, <laughs> yeah, thank you for coming. Oh, timestamps will be in the description box and or in the comment section. But yeah. Okay. Subscribe and like. See you later. Hello, group number one. Welcome to your reading. So today we are looking at, once again, uh, your yes or no question being answered. Um, I'm actually using this Meryl Streep tarot deck. <laughs> if you ever went to a Barnes & Noble or um, there's one specifically where I'm at to where they have a huge selection of tarot cards more than I've ever seen in an actual crystal shop and oracle cards and I found that and I just knew I needed to use it and I wanted to use it for today's reading and what I realized is that I'm using movie pictures so that's cool how I felt guided for that and now I understand like how it all added up but yeah so how this is gonna work is that whatever question or thing that you're thinking about is going to be answered and if it's no then the majority is no it will be in reversed that's how I've seen it done and that makes sense in my head so I'm gonna do that too or um, if it's yes then it's gonna be upright so um, so yeah um, so make sure to think of your question or anything and let's get it started. So pile one, um, spirit guides, help me understand the yes or no for pile one's question. Yes or no for pile one's question. Um, <laughs> okay, so these ones. Yes or no for pile one's question. Yes or no for pile one's question. Yes or no. Okay. Nine of Pentacles in reverse and three of swords in reverse. I'll take one more card. Yes or no? I'm still learning how to shuffle. It's really um, <laughs> interesting. This is so embarrassing. Um, <laughs> yes or no? One more card. Pile one's question. Yes or no? Ooh. Okay. There's two. Okay. I'll take it. Um, so we have the two. I wonder if you can see that. Yeah. Okay. So. And we have the Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. And then the Ten of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. 
Um, I didn't know she voiced over for Mrs. Fox and the fantastic Mr. Fox. But anyways, um, so first off, where we start is the Eight of Swords. And what's funny is that um, before this, I was guided to a video of reading tarot cards better and the Eight of Swords. Um, so you could easily look at the Eight of Swords as you're binded. Your 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 um, your situation has become stuck because of you and stagnant because of you, and that's more like a a fortune cookie reading to where it's um, it's not very useful. But in this situation, we have one, two, three, four, and then two reversed. So it's yes for whatever answer you're um, wondering about. But also, there is some confusion over what you want. And the King of Swords is funny because that's something that balances your head and heart, your mind and your power, um, what you desire and what you believe in. And that's what you have been trying to do, but balancing these two of pentacles and wondering what I should pick and these past experiences that have hindered you that are being brought up is causing you to be stagnant in what you want. But the spirit guides are really asking you to continue to stand in your power because you're doing a good job and know that past experiences are going to come up. And this nine of pentacles is rejoicing in what you have accomplished and not being so hard on yourself. And this Ace of Pentacles is here to tell you that you have what you desire in your hand. Um, and this constant decision making, this constant battling your mind, maybe you have been really working on not, yes, you have been really working on past trauma and not letting it define who you are today but there's something that still is there where it's hard for you to believe your progress and believe your growth. I actually understand a similar situation where it's like, I have been growing and I have been working on myself. And the thing is, I, I it's hard to see it when you're on the inside. But if you really look at who you are today and how far you've come and the things that you have grown and are continuing to grow, has made you this king of swords the thing that you actually want the thing that you actually desire is there and the confusion will be over so let's see so you will succeed you will get out of this it's just the matter of a heart the matter of a tough cycle that you've been through and knowing that your growth and you pushing hard to do what you want and succeed is going to happen. But it may not look like this because the Three of Swords is such a powerful card and it could really tell you that your past traumas won't let you go far. And that's why it kind of ties into this for me is that these two, that's so funny. The guy said that the Three of Swords can say the same thing as this because it's like, you're still holding yourself back in a way, but it's funny because this is reverse, so you have been trying to grow, but past things will come up, but you still have to stand in your power and realize that you will make decisions along the way, take a, take a steady step, take, a, take your time, and you will be given what is there. These two choices, just listen to what spirit guides are telling you, and you know the answer within you and the Ten of Cups is there for you. Um, let's see, what more advice, what advice can you give? Pile number one on their, on their um, question. What advice can you give pile one on their question? You know, ooh, <laughs> okay. Um, Three of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. If you ever feel called to watch any of this, these movies, by the way, then that might be a message within itself. 
um, seven of wands standing your ground and the eight of wands is going forward, moving forward. And there's going to be a celebration from that. There's a celebration from owning your power, owning what you really want to do. I love this movie, by the way, and I, I love her part in it. It's actually really cute. I don't know if anybody else likes that movie prom, but I never watched the musical. But um, yeah, so the Seven of Wands... That means standing your ground and standing your power and what you believe in and what you want for yourself um, and going for it. The universe is telling you to go for it. Trust your freaking gut and go for it. Um, and trust that what you are reaping, what you are sowing, what you are believing in in yourself. The King of Swords is very powerful. Um, air energy could be important. There's a lot of swords, actually, now that I think about it. Then wands comes up, which means like fire, which is just going for it. Um, there's a lot of thought on what you want. There's a lot of thinking. There's a lot of trying to ground it. But the universe is helping you ground it. And you just have to take that leap of faith and trusting that it'll all be okay in the end and end in celebration. And you will be happy that you did it. So, um, yeah, that was pretty blunt. But uh, let's see. Can we get more advice for pile number one? More advice. Um, Queen of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. Six of Pentacles. Wanted to come out reversed, but let's see. Feed your, um, this is going to be reversed. It's telling you, the universe is telling you to feed what you desire. Feed what you want inside, what your um, soul is longing for and you will see results. Um, and it will be given back to you. Like I said, you reap what you sow. Um, the, ooh, the Six of Swords. Walking away from something that isn't, that doesn't serve you anymore. The past, um, walking away from something that you, that doesn't make you happy and that's okay that it doesn't make you happy because you've known all along and your heart's been screaming at you, telling you that it's okay to walk away because we have so much better than you. Um, honoring your feelings, the Queen of Cups, honoring your feelings, honoring your heart and what you desire. And the Page of Wands is a clarity, is a breakthrough, is um, a new idea on what you wanna do, um, what you choose for your life. Yeah, the universe is really supporting you. I'm feeling like a a heavy energy of like we got your back just take that leap of faith and we got you um page of wands sorry page of wands i realized yeah the page of wands is like a new beginning of something it's a it's a brief it's a birth of something but also the the ace of pentacles is in reverse to where you have this knowledge already and you know what you want to do so you just have to trust that even though it's like a new idea or even though it's like something that you're unsure about Trust your gut and know what you want. The Ace of Pentacles is um, upright and the Ace of Wands is in reverse. Just take a leap of faith. You've been trying to materialize it. Just do it. Just do it. Um, yeah. Um, and then the Two of Swords is in reverse. It's coming to an end. This, this mental battle with yourself and not knowing what to do is stopping because you're allowing yourself to listen to your heart chakra. That would be some good clearing and meditation to actually listen to yourself because... Maybe your whole life you felt like you had to stand your ground, you felt like you had to, or maybe you felt like you just had to go through the fluid, fluidity of life and not speaking your mind or feeling like you're constantly trapped or not knowing what to do and or maybe just lost and now you have it, but now you have choices or now you just don't know what path, what path to take, but now that is ending because you are knowing, okay? And then the Four of Cups. You're looking at all these other cups, but you don't realize what's in front of you. What's already waiting for you. So, yes, you're getting, yes, it's yes to the answer that you're saying, but you have to take the first steps and just do it. That's good. <laughs> That's really good. I hope that helps. Um, so now... Thank you, Meryl Streep. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Um, <laughs> so, 
now we are going to look at what Archangel Michael has to say about your situation, um, any advice that he has for you. He's really awesome and I'm glad that I ran into this deck. Um, but yeah, so Archangel, okay, there, it's in, trust in divine purpose. That's beautiful. Um, butterflies may be significant. This experience has divine meaning. Healing will come. Know that you are on a path of growth. And also blue, that's the heart chakra. So really listen to what your heart wants. Trust in divine purpose. Trust that you are learning from this experience and you're growing and there's nothing wrong with that. Pr prioritize self-care. Um... You do so much for others, it's time for you to experience the love you deserve and let others help you. And put your creative energy into action. That's exactly, that's exactly it. Archangel Gabriel joins me to spark your creativity, help you communicate your vision, and motivate you to create something beautiful. So trust, love yourself, because I feel like I've been going through the same thing too, to where I'm trusting my purpose and I'm actually opening my heart up the hearts to the universe speaking my creativity my creativity and what I want to do and trusting that I'm going through it and I'm doing it the way forward is open you're not trapped possibility ah, that relates to the um, eight of swords okay you're not trapped possibilities and opportunities abound I will guide you to personal and spiritual freedom so if you ever feel the need to ask Archangel Michael for help do that just reach out to him and say hey i need a little bit of guidance i need a little bit of clarity i need help on this spiritual journey or um for my creativity to flow and he is there to divinely support you because he cares about you and he loves you and he wants to see he's really excited to see what you have and what you want and if prioritizing yourself is being creative being creative in how you prioritize yourself Watching the movies you love. Maybe you love Meryl Streep. <laughs> trust in divine. Trust that you're on this path for a reason and not just lost. You're not lost. You you know what you want. And even if you don't know now, you will. And then one more card, maybe, for pile number one, please. One more card. Okay. And that is be honest with yourself. Mm. This has a lot of blue. I mean, I don't... I'm not sure. I mean maybe he has to do with a lot of blue. but either way it says be honest with yourself all your feelings even the difficult ones have a message for, message for you accept your truth then let the source take it from there be honest with what you need and what you need for yourself in order to grow because that will bring you to what you want in life that will bring you to your higher purpose and all is in perfect timing this is it it's time to take action now i will be here to help you every step of the way no worries. Don't worry about a thing. Um, I'll have channeled songs in the description box. But uh, yeah, this is very beautiful energy. And I think that you're really blooming and you're really starting to illuminate in what you want to do, whether it be whatever it is. But um, yeah. So now, thank you, Archangel Michael, for that guidance. Um, So, yeah, look him up if you feel led to. Or um, Gabriel, I believe, was another card that came out. He's also working with Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel, for uh, creativity and stuff. Now we're looking at uh, spirit allies, things that you could look out for or uh, experience if you are looking for help and support. Um, these spirit allies are here to guide you and listen and, yeah, so... And I also will look in the book just because I'm still learning this deck and how to understand its meanings. So spirit guides and higher self, pile number one. Okay. Nanshi and Minx came out. Um, okay. Aries and these ones wanted to come out, but it's all good. Um, spirit guides helping out. I look out for what is something that they ooh <laughs> this one flew out 
I don't know if that's super important to you. The unicorns at the bottom of the deck. Mm, trust that you are special. Um, and you are big for something. You are made for something big. And this one. Okay. And then bottom of the deck is this one. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to look this up. Um, let's see here. So, um, first we have Nanshi. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Nanshi or Nanshi? Um, it's a goddess. Right here. I create space for everyone to coexist. Okay? Nanshi is a Sumerian goddess of social justice and divination. A powerful oracle, she is believed to communicate through dreams. And she is also associated with water and rules over fishing. A timely reminder of change, of the change of consciousness that is occurring. And she calls for justice. Use this as a reminder to stand up for what you believe and speak out for those whose voices have been suppressed. The power to create for the greater good, the power to create change is all within us. But it's when we come together for the greater good that we are able to create action. The power to create change is within all of us, but it's when we come together for the greater good that we are able to create action. Wow. Now is a time to, to research causes that you are passionate about and share your thoughts with others. Gently encourage them to do the same and find their own voice. Together we can heal and create a stronger foundation for generations to come. So yeah, if you're passionate about something, it's really asking you to step into that passion and honor it, honor what you believe and take action for that. So she's there to support you. Um, Sumerian goddess, this is right there. The bottom says, what causes do I support and how can I be an ally? And Nynx is right there next to her. Um, I love both the dark and the light sides of myself. Hmm. Ning's dark and mysterious energy has led her to become a powerful personification of the night. Feared even by Zeus, Ning stands tall in her power as a divine feminine goddess. Born from chaos, she oversees the darkness that comes over us each night. The goddess encourages you to find peace within the dark. Without darkness, there can be no light. And within each of us, there is both light and dark. You are being presented with the opportunity to learn and heal from your shadow patterns. A portal is open for you to give yourself, for you to forgive yourself and others. There is much to learn from navigating the darkness to unveil the light hidden within the heaviest burdens you've been carrying. Look to the stars when you feel alone and be comforted that Nynx is watching, o watching over you in her cloak of stars. What steps can I take to begin healing what's been bothering me? So, shadow work is a huge thing, and focusing on what bothers you, or what you've been struggling with, or the surroundings around you, ask it why, ask it why it's there. If you're scared of a part of you, ask why it's there, and how you could bring that into light, and use power with that, and maybe even you'll find more creativity within your shadow self. What's deep in there that wants to be unlocked to be expressed in your creative side. What passion is yearning to be heard? That's what I'm hearing is what passion is screaming to say, I want to be let out. Listen to me because I have guidance waiting to tell you. I want to tell you what you need to hear. Indigo, purple, crown chakra. Um, indigo is third eye. Crown chakra is purple. So yeah, heal yourself and listen to the universe and what they want to tell you because you have the answers within you. You just need to listen. Um, Kunzite. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering this because this is like... <laughs> I don't usually say these words. Um, let's see here. Kunzite. I allow myself to express joy. Kunzite is a pale pink stone that has been used to encourage empathy and compassion. It is also connecting, connected to divine feminine energy and the heart. Hmm. Heart energy, that's important. Divine feminine energy is very important. We'll talk about that. Um, 
Think about the last time that you felt truly happy, not for just a brief moment, but pure heart-clenching happiness. Kunzai is here to remind you to keep searching for that feeling. So often we go through similar routine that involves similar emotions. What's something missing? What's sometimes missing, however, is that satisfaction in life that comes from a job or hobby we love or the community that surrounds us. You are being encouraged to pursue what will fill you with unadulterated joy. Apply for your dream job, move to the city on your vision board, or even take a leap and try your hand at open mic. Oh God, um, life is what you make of it. You can make it your dream life. Yeah, what does pure happiness feel like to me? So, okay, so I really love this and I understand this and I'm sorry if I'm talking about myself, but I feel like that could help. When I, I was more brave back then, but I'm trying to find that within myself because I worked on my, sh okay, this is cool. So in the beginning, we give ourselves such a hard time because we want to say, I used to be like this. Why can't I be like this anymore? I used to be so courageous and now I'm just thinking or now I'm just not knowing what to do. I feel stagnant. And that allows us to be trapped inside of our head. But like I tried an open mic before with comedy or um, I did more of acting and theater and stuff like that. And now I was in this stage of going through stuff and clearing up my karmic cycles and learning new lessons and the pandemic helped a lot with that um not saying the pandemic was a positive thing but it did have its silver lining the the dark side there is a light to it stuff like that um but yeah i was working on my shadows and i still am but within working on those shadow my shadow self i'm realizing how i need to stand up for myself and show up for myself in order to pursue what i want to pursue so yeah, that could also help standing up for what you believe in and taking that leap of faith because what you have learned and what you have cultivated, uh, the king of swords, you know, um, inside your mind and what you have been working on inwardly wants to be expressed on the outward, on the outside, you know, it wants to be heard. So you have a lot to say and you have a lot of support and you shouldn't be afraid to do that. So you, you should allow yourself to experience the joy that you love and that you know you deserve. So peyote? Peyote? That sounds like a drug, but I'm just gonna... Oh, right here. Th 33. 33. Sorry, I got really excited because 33 is an angel number and um, expressing... Um, I think it's something about union or inner self or work or seeing results, but I don't know. I might have to correct myself on that. Um, learning is a process and I am processing. Um, I believe in guidance beyond the material realm. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, guidance, three, 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 guidance, four, four, four is um, <laughs> planting things on the ground. You know, fucking soil and get a shit. Okay, <laughs> I believe in guidance beyond the material realm. This round, flowering, green succulent is small but mighty, revered by indigenous cultured cultures. Peyote has been used for thousands of years to look beyond the realm of the material world. Peyote is calling you to push the boundaries and accept norms of separation. It's time to return to oneness and true unity. What you see in society is definitely not all that you get. You are being encouraged to sit with the power that comes with being able to look beyond the material veil and connect with the upper realms of creation. Close your eyes and envision yourself in the higher planes of existence, where all things are connected, which each, with each inhale, allow re Okay, I'm just gonna, sorry about that. Close your eyes and envision yourself in higher planes of existence, where all things are connected. With each inhale, allow reassurance to flow through you. And with each exhale, picture your energetic vibrations stretching out beyond you. From this state with ease and grace, you can receive guidance to help you break karmic cycles and find pure self-love, compassion, and acceptance. So that's interesting. I was talking about karmic cycles and going inward and releasing that. And you are divinely protected. No matter what, the universe is telling you that you are okay. And we got you. Your, your, your confusion and everything is coming to a close. And you're seeking what wants to be heard which is your heart and your third eye and um 
How do you feel when you take time to nourish your energetic body? So yeah, self-care once again. Um, yeah, if you want to see that. Peyote. And then last but not least, we have Benzotin. Benzotin. Maybe. Okay. I embrace my creativity. <laughs> it's a lot of creative energy. I like it. Um, pictured with a Biwa. That's the... Ooh, Labradorite. That's a good one. Opening the third eye. Um, yeah. Um, pictured with a Biwa or traditional Japanese lute. Benzaten is a Buddhist goddess of music, water, and knowledge. She is also known as the muse to all artists and innovators and infuses inspiration into those who choose to connect with her. You're being invited by this divine goddess to create and embrace your inner artist. Embrace whatever form this may take, whether it's fun and playful or as a larger pursuit. Make space to enjoy the experience of creating art without attachment to the outcome of your creative work there's a tremendous opportunity for creating positive change through spreading your message and unique gifts in artistic forms. As you gain comfort and confidence in your artistic self-expression, use your creativity as a way to in innovate and share something special with others. You never know who you may reach with unique expression of your gifts. What kind of art would you feel good to create? So yeah, it's basically telling you that you don't know who you'll touch or who you'll who you'll reach out to with your artistic abilities. If you pass this up, then it's like that one person kind of misses out on your message that you could give to others, whether it be through music, through singing, because that's kind of like what I'm gearing towards with the music card of this. Um, yeah, go to, okay, okay. So something that I realized recently, which is weird, but I was having a conversation and it was about how I was so connected to music my whole life and I didn't know why I felt so energetically connected like wanting to cry or feel and it was beautiful and it's it was very healing and I didn't realize it's literally the energetic frequency that comes within music that allows us to feel so if you put your energetic frequency of love or or what you've been through your shadow side into your music, into your writing, into your creative expression with anything, then you are sending that energetic connection through the phone, through something, through um, the pages, the, the onto the person reading it or hearing it or watching it. So really ask the universe, whether it be Archangel Michael or this woman right here, you can research more on her for guidance and help with connecting the energetic frequencies to create, then that will help a lot with what you're wanting to create, to reach out to the right people that you want to reach out to, to help. Um, it takes a lot of energy. So make sure, like I said, self care and standing your boundaries and focusing on you and putting that energy within yourself will help express what you really want to put on paper or whatever you want to do in life. Um, but yeah, you are magician. The magician card just popped up. You are, um, in my mind, you are capable of whatever you put out there, whatever you put inside your mind. Um, you are also capable of trapping yourself in your mind, which I can relate. So don't feel too bad about that. We as humans overthink a lot. I mean, me as a Virgo, I, I tend to, you know, overanalyze, but it's good to just action because if you don't do it you'll never know and then it will just be something that you always think about um but yeah that's um that's all the messages that messages i have for you pile one thank you so much for joining me if you want to like and subscribe that would be cool um i'll put out more videos and all that stuff uh but yeah i hope i helped you in any way guided you in any way that you needed help with but yeah, maybe those crystals that came up for you are important. Kunzai, Kunzai I had never seen it before, but... Or Labrador, right? Maybe important that you need to get. Or maybe even just feeling the energy of those cards. 
coming to you for creative third eye experiences through the universe. And yeah. Okay. Anyways, yes. Thank you so much for watching and have a good rest of your evening or day or whatever. Yes. Bye. Hello, pile number two. What is going on? Thank you for coming to my reading and showing up. Uh, glad to have you here. Today we are answering your yes or no question, which is fun and great. And I hope we have a good time. We are using the Meryl Streep Tarot deck. It is pretty cute. And I love Meryl Streep. And using this deck made me realize that I have not watched all of her movies. <laughs> not even half. Um, but yeah, she's an amazing woman. And I am obsessed with her and her acting. But anyways, we are going to ask, answer, what, your question, your yes or no question. And I was saying in pile one, and if it's reversed, then it's a no. If it's upright, then it's a yes. Um, and if it's both kind of evened out, then it's a maybe. I didn't say that in pile number one because there wasn't, a, even, there wasn't a, a score record for there. I mean, there wasn't a maybe for theirs. Anyways, so we're going to do that. We're going to look at the Meryl Streep tarot deck, and then we're going to get guidance from Archangel Michael on things that he wants you to hear. And then, last but not least, we're going to use this tarot deck, which is your spirit allies that you could help for support in figuring out the next steps and what to do. So, yes, and I may, I'm going to use the book for that one because I do not know jack crap about what it is saying. But, yeah. <sighs> Okay, let's do it. Um, so, spirit guides and higher self of pile number two. Allow me to get guidance on a yes or no. Those, okay. A yes or no question that they have. Um, yes or no. Um, allow me to answer the question. I am... <laughs> I'm learning how to shuffle, man. This is all improv right here. This is classic improving my way through decks. That's funny. Um, so yes or no on the question that they have. Yes or no on what they have. So we have the page of wands. Yes or no. Yes or no. That is something flipped over. The tower in reverse. Four of Pentacles, but I'm gonna yes or no on what they ask. Yes or no. That's pile number two. Pile number two. Did I say pile number one? Pile number two. I am so sorry. Pile number two. Okay, the Hierophant. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Pile number two. Yes or no on pile number two. We're pulling um, three, four, five, five or six cards we're pulling, so yes or no. We're pulling six cards. Pile number two. Yes or no. So it's struggling to come out. Um, yeah. Mainly because I think, here, let me just do the energy more. Ooh, I'm so sorry if that's loud. Oh my gosh, it's loud on my end. Um, seems like there's a lot of struggle of these cards to come out, mainly because I think there's a lot of struggle with the answer of your question. But, um, yeah, yes or no for pile number two. Yes or no. Okay, wow. Okay, <laughs> there she goes. It's a lot of cards, actually. I'm going to pull these ones that came out. Okay, so, and the Magician's in reverse. Um, so, we have a yes. Um, some of these cards came out for pile number one, but I feel like this is... telling a different story. I think there's a lot of healing 
coming through for you. There's a lot of trying to accept change. This word stood out to me, doubt. And this is actually a really good movie. Maybe you should watch it, I'm hearing. Um, it's really good. Um, Little Woman, Aunt Marsh, The Empress. Um, so this new idea that you have, this new knowledge of something um, that came from a tower moment, that came from self-reflection, that came from um, knowledge, going back to square one. Oh, wait a minute. I am so sorry, it's a maybe. I just realized the tower is in reverse, I'm so sorry. Um, it's a maybe. I'm just feeling a lot of confusing energy with this because it's like, This tower moment that happened and this self-reflection that you have to go through is really hard and you're it's hard to stand in that energy of the empress is what I'm hearing. It's hard to see what's gonna come out of life right now. Where's my ace of pentacles? I'm I'm here, I'm trying, I've been through crap, I've I've done this work, I have these ideas, where is the light? And the light's within you. And you, whether you know that or not, the universe is here to remind you that whatever you desire is within you and whatever you're waiting for is happening, but you have to believe it within yourself. Um, and the doubt on this situation, the doubt on whether or not you want it, or whether or not it's happening, is coming, but there's something holding you back in that regard um can i get clarifier for the tower in reverse clarifier for the tower in reverse you've had to this came out in the last freaking file i don't know if you've come from that file um you've had to stand your ground in the past you've had to defend yourself and what you love and what you um experienced in life and the universe is telling you that by you standing in this empress and receiving what is coming to you, keep doing that because this is happening. Don't worry if it's not going to happen because it will happen. Just know that you are divinely guided and know that these answers will come to you and you just have to reach out for support right here. Reach out for support. Uh, And not be afraid of the results. Um, can I get clarifier for the two of pentacles, please? For clarify the two, the two of pentacles in reverse. Um, that's a lot that wanted to come out, but um, I'll just do like um, the moon. This is actually a really good movie too. Death becomes her. The moon related to this movie is there's this thing that they drink, and it's. Um, actually something that made you youthful and young and that's the truth of it there's there's more that meets the eye is what I'm hearing and whatever you're worried about the truth will come into light and there's you just have to listen you just have to be able to be in that energy of listening whatever you need clarifiers on and go back to if you have doubt, go back to your roots. Go back to what you know. Instead of just worrying and constantly having to stand your ground because you're scared of what might not happen or what what the future holds. Um, this is in reverse, the Six of Wands, which is victory and triumph. I don't know if you're seeing something correctly you aren't seeing so that's why you're here <laughs> but just know that you are this all this doubt that you have on yourself sorry i keep saying the word doubt but it literally is just standing out to me to where you have to know that you are worthy of everything that you want that you you may be a writer you may be someone who wants to do public speaking or 
express words in some way. The Five of Cups in reverse. Mm. I'm getting a lot of um, releasing energy that isn't good for you anymore. Releasing energy that doesn't serve you. You had to. And, or maybe you're struggling to. Your, your, you, your emotions are very strong and you've had to be strong with fire is what I'm feeling. And it's just asking you to stand in that light of knowing that there is something out there for you and it'll be okay and it'll be revealed and you are doing the best you can. Page of Swords in reverse. What I'm feeling from this, this Page of Wands, Page of Swords, is that you're battling something within your mind, not knowing if this is the right choice for you or if you could trust it. And the Knight of Swords in reverse is the unwillingness to take action. Henry V. Um, unwillingness to take action or maybe not knowing if you should take action. You'll never know unless you try. But they're asking you to listen to your heart. Know you have abundance around you already because Little Woman, Aunt March, if you've watched the new one, um, she's still the same character in the other ones, but she, she, she sits in this energy of knowing good things are coming to her. She sits in this energy of giving to others, of those who are worthy. The ones who aren't worthy, the ones who you had to cut out of your life to get to what you want to do, it might be necessary to move forward and that will be shown to you once you listen and take action. Don't let anything hold you back. You know, okay, more guidance for pile number two in there. Yes or no question. More guidance. Okay, um, if you want to check out pile number one, there might be messages for you, but here I'm just gonna. Hmm. This just feels like a different color, shade of. It's just the same situation, but different color or different shade of that color. It feels a bit darker. King of Swords is asking you to stand in your power. Stand in what you know, trust, and not bind yourself to the past or bind yourself to limiting beliefs. Hold on to that and you will get justice. The giver, watch that before. Um, you will get justice in the situation that you want clarity in. Um, you know, from that movie Funny Face with Audrey Hepburn, the picture that you chose, I was thinking of a message for the last group, but I didn't get anything. But the, the other one, I feel like you've been having to put on a face for other people to where it's like, everything's fine. Everything's okay. But on the inside, you're... You're struggling. Open up to your feelings and emotions and don't be too scared to take charge of what you really want to do at the end of the day, what you really feel led to do. Because these energies that hold you back is just something that you've chosen for them to hold you back. You need to stand up in your own power and really face the music, you know, face what you want to do. Uh, what advice do you have for Kyle? Number Whoa, geez, man. Jeez Louise, the musician came out again, but it's in this. So you are realizing that you, um, two of wands is looking out into the future of what you desire and what you express the things that you want to give out to other people or yourself. You're, you're looking at yourself now and prioritizing yourself. And that's good because other people will continue to hold you back your whole life, but you have to realize you have the power to change to get what you desire so that's cool you're the star i don't know if this was in reverse or not but i think they're reminding you that you are the star and there is hope in whatever you want just continue to to just continue to um give water to yourself and give water nurture who you are nurture everything that you 
feel passionate about and know that there's hope in what you want to do. Defending your life. Wow. That's powerful. Um, I haven't watched that movie before, but any last advice with this tarot deck that you want to give? Pile number. Yeah, just go out for what you want. Be the magician that you desire. That's what it's saying, because this was reversed before. Maybe you are trying to, but now it's upright, and it's telling you that you are and you're going to. Step into your power and look into the future and do what you want. Maybe it's archaeology. I don't know. <laughs> but um, maybe you're going to Ar Iraq for archaeology. There's Yeah, see, there's here's the fool. Step into the unknown. Don't be afraid to embrace what you don't know. Um, the Nine of Swords is constantly battling your thoughts and not knowing if this is the right choice. She's crying. Freaking Sophie's Choice, man. That's a sad movie. Crying over the choices that she's put herself in. It's all in your mind, even though her circumstances were very dire, but I don't know. Um, you have control of your own life and your own power, and you are in your own destiny. Um, they're just asking you to step out and take a risk. Take a leap of faith. I always hear that the universe has you back, and it's true, and people need to be reminded of that. A Ten of Cups, again, this has happened in the last pile, but seriously, this is, this is what's waiting for you on the other side. They're asking for you to climb through that window. It doesn't have to be a door. You make what you want. It's okay. Just pat yourself on the back for how far you've come. I'm hearing a lot of... Um, from this card to maybe there's like a religious practice that you were chosen to follow in the past and you really struggled with finding your own beliefs and just know you are your own emperor and you can choose what you decide what you desire you know um but yeah maybe there's a lot of judgment with those around you i'm getting a lot of heaviness from that um you are your own advocate. And sometimes I journal to express that so I could really put that out there. Um, 444 may be significant to you. Divine timing, all that stuff. Um, so now we're gonna look at Archangel Michael and the guidance that he has for you, pile number two on the question that you asked. So what is guidance for pile number two? Guidance for pile number two, Archangel Michael. Ooh. Guidance for pile number two. Okay. Um, your loved ones are safe. Let go of your fear and worry for your loved ones. I am looking after them. So yeah, maybe there's some codependency going on that you've been trying to struggle out of that you've been trying to deal with to where it's like like I said you're struggling to let go of certain things of yourself or your actions and other people but just know you can move forward in what you want to do the way forward is open and trust that they're going to be okay because you are important at the end of the day you are not trapped possibilities and opportunities abound I will guide you to personal and spiritual freedom joy Someone new is coming. An important new relationship is on the horizon. Open your mind and heart so that happiness can enter your life. Whatever you desire and whoever you desire is coming. And you will get this when you focus on yourself and go through that spiritual journey and open up your mind to all the possibilities that are waiting for you. Um, regain your focus is at the bottom of the deck. Trivial life matters are distracting you from your goals. Archangel Metatron and I are here to help you stay grounded. So yeah, whatever it is, whether it be family or friends that are steering you off the path that you want to go, down, go on, now's the time to step up and trust that new people will come. Whoever's toxic around you, it's... What I'm getting right now is that that tower card, I feel like... Huh. Ooh. Either there's a group that is struggling for a tower moment to happen because they're scared a tower moment's going to happen, or a tower moment happened for them to realize how bad and toxic the environment is around them, so they have to focus on themselves and do what they want to do. So take which one it is, or if it's both, that's fine, but know that 
the universe will make things happen for a reason for your growth for your own higher good because they believe in you and they want to see you grow and do what you want to do so yeah what is another guidance card that you want to give pile number two okay your prayers are being answered your prayers are being received by the divine answers will soon come although perhaps in forms you didn't expect again with the tower card or with something that you have fear of happening just know that you'll be okay and you are fine and you probably don't feel fine right now but it'll be okay in the end and this moment in the future will be looked at as an experience of growth and learning because we go through things that are hard to get us connected to ourselves and our higher self and our higher purpose it's time to play so at the bottom of the deck you're working too hard and worrying about everything seek out joyous experiences to bring balance in your life whether it be watching a Meryl Streep movie doubt or um um Mamma Mia I don't know if you like Mamma Mia but uh yeah, watching movies or um, listening to music or going out in nature, something that helps you so you don't continue to feel like you're stuck in a cycle or feel like you're not being heard. One more card for pile number two. One more card. Let it go. This situation no longer serves you. Allow me to se sever your energetic connections to the past as so you can embrace the future. Once again, letting go of things that don't serve you. Someone new is coming. Just know when you let go, you will receive more. You know, I think that's why the Six of Pentacles also came up. Because if you give to yourself, give to what you want to do, the universe will give it back to you. Or give love to the connections that you do have that you can trust. Maybe talk to someone like the Hierophant. Talk to someone who you can trust, whether it be a mother figure or a father figure. Someone that you know, I don't know but just know you're okay this blessing this is a blessing in a, in disguise be patient and have faith that your angels have the situation under control what will come is far better than you dare to dream yeah so you are seeking the answers within yourself and helping getting guidance from the universe and it'll be okay so what i'm getting from the maybe in your card card reading is that you can choose your path and I think it's more a battling of the thoughts like you don't know if this is the right way your thoughts are so powerful that it got through into the reading saying maybe the the universe said maybe because they want you to know they want you to find out for yourself your inner power and prioritizing yourself so you know that it could be a yes that it could be or a no, however you said it, however you thought it, you know, um, however you asked the question. It works out the way it is working out for a reason, unfolding. It is unfolding the way it needs to unfold, and you are not alone. Thank you, Archangel Metatron and Spirit Guides. So last but not least, we are doing the allies, the spirit allies that are here to support you and help you and guide you if you need help, just go to these things or maybe they're crystals or maybe they're um, angels or goddesses that you could reach out to for support. Okay, did I do that right? Um, <laughs> let's see. So let's see what oh, guidance they have for you. Let's see what wants to come out. What wants to come out? You are not alone. Um, okay, so... Spirit guides, higher self, guidance, allies. What do you have for pile number two? Why is it so... I can't do it. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna do this. Um, spirit allies. I can't do it yet. <laughs> Keeping the door open. Of pile number two. What guidance do you have for them? What messages do you have to tell them? Spirit allies. Okay, we have Durga. Okay. Spirit allies of pile number two. We have arm airmid also i've seen uh aquarius at the bottom of the deck and what i'm hearing is 
be your own unique person step out step out and show your own light if you have to be independent then embrace it you know um yeah what else snake Ooh, that's good that's a good one what else for pile number two whoa okay white buffalo San Pedro. Okay, these are good. These are these are enough. Black Panther and San Pedro cactus and bat. Okay. Bottom of the deck we have clear quartz. That's good. Um, that means clearing out negative energy. I don't have to look that up in the book, but basically, yeah, clearing out negative energy. What it said in the book with this one is, imagine, close your eyes and breathe in. Keep breathing as you breathe. Imagine you're filling up the balloon with all the negative energies you received, and um, and then once it's filled, then exhale and release that balloon into the air. You know, it's about cleansing energy in the mind and believing that you can cleanse your energy. You know, to because um, there's a lot of people around you that probably don't feel so positive or situations. Durga is the first one. Let's see. see Durga my energy is worth protecting what did I say <laughs> literally this is this is exactly what Claire Quartz is saying they protect your energy um, a deeply revered I don't know if it's revered no it's revered I think a uh, deeply revered deity in Hinduism Durga is referred to as the mother goddess her name can be translated to fort in relation to her high, highly protective nature, Durga is often associated with motherhood and pictured with eight arms that each holds a symbolic object. Oh, I love that. Um, your energy may be feeling drained for, drained or fragile. I just got the seven of cups from that for some reason, even though it's eight arms. I still had the vision. Um, your energy may be feeling drained or fragile and it is important to protect it. The stories of Durga's fortifying nature are a reminder of how essential it is to remain steady in your boundaries. This doesn't mean that you need to shut everyone out, but rather create conscious relationships with others who will help you to lift you up. Determine what values are important to you and search for others who feel the same. Stay vigilant with others who cross your path to be sure that you don't, don't energetically feed them more than you need to. Focus on shifting yourself into your ideal vibration and witness how you'd attract people who align with the aligned version of you. How can I feel energetically replenished? How can I energetically replenish myself? That's the question on the bottom, which I just helped you with that. Maybe you could get some clear quartz or something, but um, yeah, I think that could help out a lot. Um, so Durga. Maybe you could call, call out to her. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong because I'm not sure. Maybe you could call out to her for guidance and help with cleansing your energy or protecting it. Also, um, Black Obsidian could help too. The crystal. Um, our Aramid. Aramid. Okay, that's the first one, number one. <laughs> I didn't, I don't know why I didn't correlate one with the order. Okay, anyways, I honor nature's ability to heal. So, that's her. Red hair. Um, I honor nature's ability to heal. The goddess of herbal healers and sacred herbs, Aramid is a Celtic goddess who is strongly connected to the transition tradition of herbalism. I am so sorry. It is said that in grieving the loss of her brother, the tears she cried sprout, sprouted into a healing herb for every area of the body. Aramid is a reminder of healing properties of the earth. The planet has cared for generous and generations and generations before you. And that herbal knowledge is rooted in history and can be traced back thousands of years. Whether you're, you're an experienced herbalist or an evening tea drinker, herbs 
may have touched your life in one way or another. Your body is in tune with planet medicine, so take some time to connect deeper with them. You could do this by spending time in nature, tuning to resor turning to resources to identify herbs or herbs and native plants in your area or by working with a herbalist or nature nurture naturopath okay naturopath to explore how you could include herbs in your life what herb do you want to know more about you could read that yourself if you want i'm so sorry i don't know why my freaking tongue is um but yeah um it's basically pretty much blunt it's basically saying to search out resources maybe resources maybe look into teas that you want to try out or um yeah having herbs around you and your food or I don't know if that works but yeah do more research I think that's really encouraging you to connect with yourself and give to yourself so snake that's actually really good really cool um, thing that you got I flow with the cycles of life Intertwined with cycles of life and rebirth, snake knows a thing or two about removing what no longer serves them. Once a snake sheds its skin, it emerges brighter and bolder than before. With this deep connection to clinical nature of the universe, clinical, clinical, okay, nature of the universe, snake urges you to release what holds you back from being the highest version of yourself. You too can remove layers of ego and expectation to transform into your transform into a more authentic version of yourself, a living embodiment of your soul. Knowing where to begin in this process can be difficult, but have faith. Snake will help to guide you through this, and as each layer of ego peels away, you'll soon see yourself in a new light. Your vibration is rising along with your power to create your reality and manifest your dreams. What patterns do I need to let go of that are standing in the way of my ascension? So yeah, allow yourself to release and shed that skin that no longer serves you. That's the same energy we've been dealing with is um, clearing your energy, release what no longer serves you, allow yourself to grow new, new skin and know that there's going to be new people that come into your life um, or new opportunities. So next is a white buffalo. Also, if you see these things in pictures or um, anything like that, that could be a sign for you to listen to this guidance and yourself and your spirit guides. Um, whether it be a black panther, bat, or white buffalo, or snake. See something about clear quartz? Anyways, okay. I can manifest anything. Once again, the magician, you, you can manifest anything you desire. Across the plains, white buffalo stands proud against the sweeping winds and wispy grasses. Honored by the Laco Lakota, sorry, white buffalo first appeared as the white buffalo calf woman, a prophet and the teacher of the seven sacred ways to pray. The white buffalo is a teacher of the importance of staying grounded when thinking of what you desire. While manifestation is a powerful is a power that you hold remember to focus on what true will truly make you happy in this lifetime that reminds me of the ace of pentacles being reversed and uh what else was reversed freaking a you get it basically ground what you want and ground what you desire is what i'm feeling white buffalo reminds you of your personal power when you are rooted in your beliefs and remain humble and appreciative of what, of what has already been presented to you. There is so much available to you, but to remain worthy and aligned to receive those gifts is up to you and your spiritual practice. In what ways can I stay grounded in my manifestation practice? So yeah, that's really important. Like I said, manifestation, you are the magician, you just have to believe it. Um, <laughs> these are all pretty blunt, so I'm sorry if I don't say much to them, but I don't really have much to say unless I'm being told to say something. I remain flexible in life, the bat. As the moon rises, bat emerges from its cave and takes to a star-filled sky. Relying on its senses, bat understands the importance of being aware of your surroundings and moving quickly in case of obstructions. Navigating through the darkness is no easy feat. But with the gifts graced by the universe, it can be done. 
knowing your knowledge of what is being given to you and knowing that you can be guided in the way that the universe guides you is very helpful. The bat has flown in to remind you that no matter what problems you face in life, it's all up to you to determine the outcome. Once again, the magician. We are often faced with the certain situations over and over because there is still a lesson to be learned. Still cycle, karmic cycles. Let sorry, let bad lead let bat lead you through these moments and encourage you to be quick on your feet. Journal about your experiences so that you can recognize similar situations and be prepared to change the outcome. Awaken your intuition and let it act as your guide. Noticing what you feel immediately when making quick decisions. Through this, you will learn your life lessons and, and in turn find blessings coming your way recall when your intuition has kept you on the right path how did you know what to do so yeah that's really important to what we've been talking about is trusting your decision knowing that this is hard but you are doing this for the greater good of your life and your higher self and your divine purpose Trust the universe has the right people and things in your life. Black Panther's right next to it. I am protected. Black Panther sits atop a tree branch, illuminated by the light of the moon. A graceful creature, Black Panther quietly observes and witnesses its surroundings. Its deep, dark fur keeps Black Panther protected while also setting it apart from the rest of the animal kingdom. The Black Panther is a powerful symbol of a spiritual rebirth. If you have found yourself looking through the depths of your emotions or seeking psychic guidance, then Black Panther is a sign that the universe has been listening. The Black Panther is a guardian like no other. And in this cage of your journey stage, ooh, that's interesting if you feel like you're in a cage, but the, sorry, it said stage. The Black Panther is a guardian like no other. And in this stage of your journey, know that you are divinely protected. Connecting, connected to the dark moon, Black Panther also represents your ability to travel through the darkness and find the light. Tap into your pa inner power and know that you can uncover your dream reality. Release any uncertainty to the universe and move forward knowing that your own power alone is a force to be reckoned with. What signs have I seen recently and what do those mean to me? So... Yeah, trust what the universe is showing you and revealing to you and know that you are protected um, no matter what. This cacti, cactus. Plant allies. There you are. I am stepping into my desired reality. Standing tall against the sandy background of the desert, the San Pedro cactus, um, Pedro, San, Pedro, San Diego, okay, I'm sorry, <laughs> San Pedro cactus reaches the sky despite the spines that extend along its whole stalk. Don't let this cactus fool you. Eventually, it will produce large white blossoms that will delight any passerby. The San Pedro cactus embodies the energy of the grandfather archetype and is all about empowerment and divine love. Let this serve as a reminder that you, that no goal or dream is unreachable when you tap into the confident loving vibration and are willing to surrender your preconceived notions and limitations. You must first believe in yourself and secondly, that you, your desired reality is possible. It's time to shift your perception to see the truth and beauty that is always present. Everything is in divine order, even if it looks messy. You have the power to step into your ultimate reality, one that is truly powerful, loving, joyous, and fun. What you may not know is that it, it already exists. It's just waiting for you to choose it at the very moment. Smile. You got this. How can you remind yourself of your personal power? Okay, so what I'm feeling is that it's been a long time coming you it, it almost seems like you've lost your personal power like it's been saying it everything that's happening right now is the universe saying you're getting it back you're finding yourself again you're that empress you're your you're a child of the universe you are what you make and you deserve no less 
you are being heard and you are being seen and you will be loved by the people that deserve you because the people that surround you or your past experiences do not define who you are and will no longer define who you are from this day forward or whenever you decide that but just know that it is true and you are loved and you are heard and there's nothing to be afraid of you are protected it keeps telling me throughout your whole entire reading that you are protected it keeps telling you to remind you to not be scared to step out into the unknown to step out into something that you don't know what will happen because your mind might be saying maybe but the universe is screaming yes your mind might be saying wait but the universe is saying go just do it just feel and love we got you that's what I'm hearing Okay, so pile number two, thank you for giving me your energy and allowing me to give you messages and that's what you needed to hear. I hope that was um, helpful guidance for you and what you wanted, what you needed to hear, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Um, Blue Lotus, that popped out right now, that um, means transformation. Um, you're transforming into a beautiful butterfly. Um, yes, so thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoy it and um, I will make another video soon. Maybe you could give me guidance on what you would like to hear, what you, what you would like to see. You are always guided. And yeah, thank you for watching. Check out my other videos if you want. <laughs> okay. Um, have a good rest of your day. Bye. Okay. Hi, pile number three. Um, thank you for choosing this pile, I guess, if you've chosen Margot Tenenbaum from the Royal Tenenbaum, this is your reading. Today we are discussing yes or no on your mind. Um, so if it's a yes, then it's going to be up, up, up. It's going to be up. Yep, upright. And then if it's a no, it's going to be in reverse. And if it's a three out of three mix, then it's going to be a maybe. We're going to do six cards. Uh, and then we're going to go from there and then ask Archangel Michael for advice and guidance on what you are curious about and your spirit allies to guide you um, to give you comfort on what you're going through. But yeah, thank you for coming. <laughs> and I hope you like and subscribe so you can see future readings, stuff like that. We are looking at the um, Meryl Streep tarot deck. Ran across this and I thought it was the coolest thing ever because I love her and... Even though I haven't watched all of her movies, I still... How could you not? She's a beautiful woman. Powerful. Um, so I hope her energy radiates to you. So yes, think about your question. If you already have it, then let's do it. But uh, yeah, so... Spirit Guides and Higher Self of Pile Number 3. Is it a yes or no to the question that they are asking? Eight of Wands, upright. Yes or no to the question that they are asking? or no? Okay. Okay, these were fast. Okay, we got the two of wands in reverse. The ace of wands in reverse. Queen of cups upright. Queen of swords upright. Now one more card. Oops. One more card to three all or nothing. Um, so yeah, yes or no, one more card for pile number three on what they need guidance on. Pile number three, yes or no, on the question, yes or no. Ooh, this one flew out. Okay, four of wands in reverse. Okay, so the indicator seems very, um, and then the nine of wands in reverse. So I, I have this feeling that you want to go for something, that you really feel passionate and you um, are in your energy of feeling that energy, feeling that emotion and um, the heart and mind. Angels in America. Huh, interesting. Yeah, um, gaining this knowledge of something that you know about this person or that you that you feel like you you were like, I, I, I know this, I, I, I'm confident now, I, I want to get my passport, I want to 
take that train or passenger ticket and I I feel this creative spark but there's something holding you back to where it's like I know this but I don't know if it's time yet because the four of wands is union of an old connection or of a thought or of something that you miss and you're really feeling powerful in this you're really feeling it you know um but I think wait three and three oh I see I did this last time wait did I one two three one two three I did this last time it's a maybe <laughs> it's a maybe so this is saying that you are unsure if you should take that leap of faith you're unsure if you should do what you want to do even though you have pretty powerful cards that are guiding you into the light and the nine of wands is this burden this heaviness that you're carrying because you're not sure if you should do something about it um with there's a lot of light energy in this i'm feeling like there's a lot of confidence in knowing what you want and knowing that you you have this you have this thing here waiting for you I don't see anything wrong with it. Like, I, I think that these are pretty powerful women right here. If I feel like a lot of divine feminine energy coming through. The Seven of Cups came out um, and the Devil's on the bottom of the deck. I think there's a lot of choices and illusion and the heart space and not knowing what you want and being shielded from what you want. Can I get clarity for the Eight of Wands? Eight of Wands. Five of Swords. Ooh. And the Nine of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. It's complicated. That's a, I love that movie. Um, you're wanting to walk away from something. You're wanting to run away from something. Because you're feeling this urge to go for something. This... This... this to have a new life to start over to be like you know what this is me this is who I am and there's like this halt on this union can I get clarification for the four of wands please clarification for the four of wands I'm getting a lot of flighty and ooh, four of wands is seven of cups but this fell on top of the four of swords and that's fine and then the devil again um, maybe you have a lot of options when it comes to things that you can do or, um, yeah, and you don't know how to make the choice because the Emperor came out in reverse and the Knight of Swords, the Page of Swords. Um, sorry if I feel kind of like all over the place. Um, sorry if that's loud. Yeah, because you have a lot of choices that you can do. And you can walk away from the situation. Run away from the situation to the light. Go towards what you want. What's holding pile number three back? What's holding pile number three back? Ooh. Five of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. That's weird. The Empress is at the bottom. What I'm feeling for the Five of Pentacles is material loss. Um, yeah, because the Nine of Pentacles is in reverse and Five of Pentacles is, yeah, loss in what you've been um, working towards. But, like, I'm hearing that if you step out and if you, you're scared of missing this union or scared of missing this person but because you have all these choices and you don't know what to choose but what I'm hearing what I'm seeing in this beautiful light photo is that if you run towards yourself and run towards what you want and what you desire your your creative action and your 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 possibility then 
I think you'll get the answer that you receive that you'll that you're guided towards whatever choice you make whether you choose to walk away from this person or this opportunity um, and choose yourself you're being guided into what you deserve and what you receive basically and let's see can I get more guidance on two of cups yeah I, I figured and the wheel of fortune that was reversed falling in love two of cups You're scared of missing out. The Seven of Pentacles, there's... Sorry. The Seven of Pentacles, there's growth here. The Two of Cups, there's there's love and there's passion and... Have this feeling of wanting in the union that you could... You're scared of missing out on this ground and foundation that you're... You're making for yourself and... What I'm hearing is that you will get what you want. You will get what you desire. Seven of Swords. It just requires you to step out and take a risk. Yeah, run and take a risk. I mean, there's lies and trickery. I mean, may, that kind of fell in between here. So the Wheel of Fortune reversed and falling in love. I think that maybe there's some lies that maybe you've heard from other people about a person or within yourself or um, been thinking a lot and not knowing um, but trust your intuition and trust what is meant to leave and leave your life you will get what you deserve um, what else do they need to hear you don't want to wait anymore the hangman's in reverse the two of swords is in reverse you're tired of waiting you're you want to make this decision you want to make haste and um, I think you could do what you what you feel is right the magician I, I didn't even see this yet the magician basically says you create your own reality I'm not feeling I want to say something like I'm, I feel hesitant but my energy feels light I feel like I want to say, no, you shouldn't, like I'm scared for you, but at the same time it feels like, it feels good. This is some energy that you deserve to have, you know? And I don't know if this person, you don't know if this is the right person. I feel like the universe is telling you that you should just go for it and find the right person that you want. Just got bridges to Madison County inside my head. Um, this is a lot. I'm not gonna... <sighs> okay, so what else does pile number three need to hear? What is the advice that you... The devil in reverse now, because I shuffled. Um, the emperor's still upright. The ace of pentacles in reverse, and the two of pentacles in reverse. These have come out, I believe, in all decks. I mean, all groups not knowing and realizing and having to realize that this ace of pentacles was here waiting for you i mean you just have to receive it you know and the devil with it being reversed is the universe saying to challenge those challenging thoughts and say i deserve what i deserve and the five of wands is um clarifying a lot of passion and a lot of fight a lot of anger towards another person or towards a situation with it being uh, lies and trickery, you know what you want. Just go for it and don't let anybody hold you back. Um, and I don't think you are. I think you're kind of tired of it. And I think you're just wanting to come on here to get clarity over something that you already know. The high priestess is in reverse, sis. <laughs> the hermit's in reverse. Bro, I'm calling you out left and right. The magicians and okay this is freaking getting annoying but um the high priestess trust what you know trust what's in the scripts because you wrote it and the hermit is not waiting anymore it's an energy of going after what you want 
and whether it's a person that's coming after you or it's something that you are deciding to take action on what is holding them back what is holding them back what is holding them back the world wow Ooh, this is beautiful i haven't seen this one the nine of wands oh is it nine of wands so a lot of inner conflict or outer conflict that you're carrying uh self-sabotage is what i'm hearing um the world maybe the world around you feels like it's um overwhelming and it's the messages of the world that you are feeling like you don't know just trust yourself you know yourself with all these options that you have and all these decisions that you have to make it could be it feels stuck you know it just feels like you just don't know what to do but you do at the same time so it's like i don't know just don't be too hard on yourself because you're going to create a situation that's whew, that's bigger than it actually is um so the page of pentacles and the ten of pentacles ten of pentacles is the richest card in the deck i believe and the king of pentacles but uh yeah the page of pentacles is a new conquest is a financial gain within your beliefs or within what you want to do um ten of pentacles means yeah getting what you want in the end and knowing that you deserve it yeah that's that's a really powerful card when it comes to what you want um sit in your tree the ten of pentacles basically sit in that the moon card is in reversed um see the truth for what it is it's asking you to see clarity in what you know the magician again on the bottom of the deck dude like seriously this can't get any more real Just know what you already know don't let the world hold you down but the world the spiritual world and the people that are actually there to help you will help you bring this union together it's just a matter of time i don't know your situation but i do believe that you want to step forward and the universe is encouraging you to do what you receive but the empress also receives so at least if you know that it didn't end well that you, at least you tried and you put your best foot forward um on your creative spark and you paid attention to your emotions and your mind and heart and is serving it well so be proud of yourself there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with honoring your heart and your emotions but yes yeah, so now we are gonna go into thank you spirit um one more card is there any more last things that you want to tell them is there any last thing you want to tell okay yeah this one wanted to come out i knew that um yeah nine of swords is the cups on the first out of the deck seven of pentacles four of pentacles and seven of wands you have been having to stand your ground over a belief system that you had over what you wanted the universe is asking you to ground yourself um the four of pentacles see you've been covering your your heart and covering what you you but you don't want to do that anymore that's why there's the seven of pentacles showing the growth of either finance or your loved ones yeah showing growth over what you want and you shall have it you know this this card is very heavy because it's grief and it's sorrow and it's aggravation and really beating yourself up for this but it's heavy energy but it's creating something that is bigger when it could be like this you know it's you don't have to fight anymore you could watch your crop grow into something that you've made for yourself because you're the magician and you deserve love okay so next we're gonna go to um archangel michael oracle deck for guidance and what he wants to tell you thank you spirit guides thank you for giving me your energy um yes so let's see i knew i was gonna have to use this okay well okay so this one so archangel michael what guidance do you have to give to um pile number three regarding this oh regarding this situation what guidance do you have to give to pile number three group number three Ooh. stay stay the course don't panic you're not on the wrong path 
You're just having a bumping start, bumpy start. Learn from your experiences and keep going. So whatever you're going through right now, don't be afraid of it because he's literally right there saying, look at these birds, they're guiding you. So if you see birds at all, like crows or anything, just know that you are that significant and you are being guided. Trust your angels on the bottom of the deck. I like to say bottom of the deck a lot just so I don't miss any messages. Um, let go of your expectations of how your dreams will come true. Trust that heaven has a perfect plan. So maybe you just need to let go of um, control and just know that you're being guided. Continue to stay on course. What else? What other messages does Archangel Michael have? Okay. Um, open up to your spiritual gifts. Remember that your true nature is spiritual, not physical. The angels are sending you messages to guide your soul's growth. Like I said, um, crows, maybe hummingbirds too. Um, synchronicities with numbers. And you're ready for more. Your career is growing and blossoming. Now is the time to make changes you have been contemplating. So whether it be about love or career, you're opening up to changes and you are not letting anything else define that. And yeah. Regain your focus. Trivial life matters are distracting you from your goals. Archangel Metatron and I are here to help you stay grounded. Okay, what else? Get ready for more. Step into the spotlight. You have a message that the world that you have a message that the world needs to hear. It's your it's your time to share your wisdom. So whatever you went through in life, whatever you're going through right now, you have the ability to share what you need to say. Say what you want to say. Maybe that's what it was also saying too is that when you want to step out and do something and take charge of what you want to do, you will get everything that you desire along the way. You're ready for more. They, they're saying to open up to what you desire and what you want to say to the world and stay on course. You're okay. You're fine. It'll be okay. You're ready for more. Step into the spotlight. The universe is ready. Have no fear. Fear is a trap of the ego. Allow me to use the sword of light to free you from disquieting feelings holding you back. So yeah, like the Nine of Swords, it's uh, basically telling you that you are safe and just cast your fears upon them. Um, here it is. Pray from your heart. Prayer can really move mountains. Reach out to the divine with your heart's concerns and watch miracles unfold. And get your power back. You have forgotten who you are. You are a child of the divine, so take your power back. Whether it be with a person having to let go of a person and knowing that there will be a, a better one for you in the future. It's almost over. Your current challenges will soon be resolved and you will be able to look at the future with a smile. See? You will be okay, love. This one wanted to come out again, see? It's almost over. It's telling you it's almost over. Embrace this magical moment. You are a perfect energetic... You are in the perfect energetic space for manifesting miracles allow your wishes to be fulfilled once again magician coming through so take it take it pray 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 ask the universe ask archangel michael to guard you guide you and guard you if you need it um yes so any more messages for pile number three archangel michael Don't settle for less. You are you are a child of the divine, and you deserve to have your dreams come true. Don't give up. So all the options that you have to choose, know that you don't settle for what you des don't deserve. I don't know. Um, butterflies are important. <laughs> what I'm hearing is you might get a sign or you might get an indicator um, that it is time. Don't settle. Don't while you're waiting for your soulmate or while you're waiting for someone to come in or this job opportunity to happen, know that you cannot settle for less. I just seen two crows. Yeah, I think so. Um, don't settle for less and you are loved and <clears throat> don't give up. Yeah. 
Once again, it's on the bottom of the freaking bed. Almost over. It's almost here. You're almost here. Just keep going. Just keep going. Stay on course. You're, you're on the course. Don't worry. He's here to say, you got this, Mother Trucker. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for the guidance. Okay. Sorry. Last but not least is... Last but not least is spirit allies. Things that you can look on to to help you and guide you into what you need to hear. I will be using the book just because it's hard for me to um, know the... Oh. Okay, know what it wants to say to you. Um, so, spirit allies come through to help pile number three on their journey of learning and of what they want to hear and what they want to know. Are you answering the question? Okay. Okay, this came out for pile number two. Okay. Pile number two came out. Um, what do they need to know? Pile number three. What do they need to know? Ooh, oh my goodness. My gosh, man. Okay. Salvia. One more card. Oh, two more cards. Okay. Okay, cool. And then bottom of the deck is this girl. She wanted to come out earlier, so she's coming. She's coming to the party. Okay, so we have all these guys. Okay, so I don't have to read the cards for these two because I already know. But basically, the bat means being scared of not knowing what path you're going on. You know, I'm going to read the book because that just feels unfair because I read it for group number three. But eventually, I will not have to read from here. Group number two, I read it for group two. Okay, Bat. I remain flexible in life. As the moon rises, Bat emerges from its cave and takes the star-filled sky. Relying on its senses, Bat understands the importance of being aware of your surroundings and moving quickly in case of its obst obstructions. Navigating through the darkness is no easy feat, but with gifts graced by the universe, it can be done. The bat has flown in to remind you that no matter what problems you may face in life, it's all up to you to, to determine the outcome. <laughs> we are often faced with the certain situations over and over because there is still a lesson to be learned. Let the bat lead you through these moments and encourage you to be quick on your feet. Journal about your experiences so that you can regain, re recognize similar situations and prepare to change the outcome. Awaken your intuition and let it act as your guide. Notice what you feel immediately when making decisions. Through this, you will learn life lessons and in turn, find blessings coming your way. Learn from your past mistakes. Learn from those relationships that you had and grow from them because they're guiding you. The, your spiritual team is here guiding you. And the Black Panther says, I am protected. These are both, by the way, if you want to read it again. I have no idea if you can see that. I am protected. Um, Black Obsidian came out by the way, so I'm just going to put that right here. If you see these things, then maybe it's a sign of your universe speaking to you to focus on these certain areas of your life. Um, it sits on top of a tree branch illuminated by the light of the moon. A graceful creature, Black Panther, quietly observes and witnesses its surroundings. Its deep dark fur keeps Black Panther protected while also setting it apart from the rest of the animal kingdom. Black Panther is a powerful symbol of spiritual rebirth. If you have found yourself looking through the depths of your emotions or seeking psychic guidance, then the Black Panther is a sign that the universe has been listening. The Black Panther is a guardian like no other, and in this stage of your journey, know that you are divinely protected. Connected to the Dark Moon, Black Panther also represents your ability to travel through darkness and find the light. Tap into your inner power and know that you can uncover your dream reality. Release any uncertainty to the universe and move forward knowing that your own power alone is a force to be reckoned with. Trust in your power because the universe hears it. Okay, so now let's do Cleopatra, which is a very, very divine feminine symbol. So that's maybe very important for you. My feminine energy makes me strong. Right here. Cleopatra was known for her cleverness, beauty, and intelligence. She was well-educated and is believed to have spoken a dozen different languages. Connections were also made between Cleopatra and the goddess Isis dur during the time of ancient Egypt. Cleopatra is an embodiment of divine feminine energy and the power that comes with that. 
There is a feminine energy within each of us. It can be seen in the concept of yin and yang, countless and countless others. The powerful, the power that lies with the ven, divine feminine. I'm so sorry. The divi, the power that lies with it with divine femininity is graceful, beautiful, nurturing, and compassionate. Cleopatra reminds you to not let others underestimate you, or the power of the divine feminine. Embrace embodying the goddess with in you and you are searching for an extra boost of confidence when you are searching for an extra boost of confidence go to her ask for help when you need guidance in your feminine energy and receiving and giving now let's go to the um poppy okay my dreams are available to me Reaching up beyond its tall, thin stem, the poppy flowers seem to grow into cups to gather the warmth of the sun. Stretching out into the vast fields of red and orange, stumbling onto these, upon these flowers will have you wondering if you may have unknowingly turned down a yellow brick road. Unknowingly turned down a yellow brick road. So that's interesting. Know that you're on the right path is basically what it's saying. The brightly colored blooms of poppy flower are an invitation to make your wildest dreams come true. The sky is the limit to what you wish to experience in this life, so you help, so witness it all. Create a dream journal or vision board to help you manifest exactly what you are looking for. Ask your guides to assist and trust the universe will present you things in due time. The wait may feel like ages, but when you reach the end of your goal, you can look back on all your hard work and be grateful for all learned, for all you learned during those moments. So you're in high manifesting energy and um, seeing that you're protected through it. Salvia. Yeah, Salvia, yeah. I allow messages to flow to me with its brightly colored indigo flowers, third eye. Salvia decorates the landscape with the mountains regions that it calls home. Diviner sage, as it often refers to, this plant is known for amplifying the senses and painting lucid pictures. Salvia is here to act as a channel between you and your spirit guides. Open your third, open your mind's eye and be willing to receive information that is ready to present itself to you. Keep record of what you notice through your day to refer later in meditation or research and pinpoint themes your guides are trying to address. Messages from the divine can be bestowed in many forms, whether it becomes comes in dreams, meditations, or synchronicities that seem too good to be true. Welcome these messages with open arms and embrace healing that comes with this visual communication. That's very powerful. Ask the, ask your guides and your higher self to show you messages through dreams or through synchronicities on a certain topic because I do know and you should know as well that they will they will serve, they will eat and not leave any crumbs. They they are very good at communication and I, I know I have seen. Okay, so let's go to obsidian. I am shielded from negativity. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, dark as night, obsidian's black sheen can act as a protective barrier between you and negativity. This stone can also help to ease stress and encourage growth. At the end of a long day, thinking about tuning into your spiritual practice may be the last thing on your mind. However, if you carry too much baggage from one day to the next, you can eventually become too weighted down to continue. You are being reminded of the importance of releasing the activities of the previous day and cleanse yourself of any negative that you could carry through the next, through into the next. Clear your space and keep obsidian by your side to help absorb any struggling ne negative energies so you can feel ready to embrace the whole day. That speaks for itself. Also, it speaks through the Black Panther as well. If you see those animals, then it's a sign, not just in person, but you know, through anything. Moonstone, I am calm. Moonstone is a white and black stone that glistens with a beautiful hue, almost opalescent in nature. This, I want to get this stone. This stunning stone is calming and acts as a channel for divine feminine energy. It's asking you to have the divine feminine energy a lot. So 444 could be groundedness and um, 333, um, accepting the changes and cycles of life. Um, the Empress, embodying the Empress, calling out to Cleopatra. Um... Yeah, this like a lighthouse leading you to a boat safely to shore. Moonstone, gl Moonstone glimmers and lights the way to your newest adventure. You're glowing into the person you were meant to be, and it is a beautiful sight to see. 
Take a moment to honor yourself and all that you have witnessed thus far. While the process is not complete yet, the progress that you have made has prepared you for what is to come next. Take a deep breath and let the moonstone fill you with relief and ease. There is no need to stress. The universe has your back. There we go, Shadi. Okay. And last but not least, Saraswati. Oh, goodness. There I go butchering me. Um, the bottom of the deck energy. 11. If you see 11, 11, it also signifies union and your divine path. The words I speak, I, sh I shape my reality. The words I speak, I shape my reality. The words I speak shape my reality. <laughs> Saraswati is a Hindu goddess of knowledge, art, and learning. Her forearms symbolize a variety of things, including her presence both in physical and spiritual worlds. The instrument that she is often depicted with is a string instrument known as a veena. Veena, I think? Yeah. As the goddess associated with speech, Saraswati calls attention to how powerful words can be. Our thoughts become our words, and there is magic to harness in both. Spend time being conscious of your thoughts when you speak aloud, tuning into the vibration and tone of your expressions. Next time there's something important you want to express, take a few moments to go within you and find the right frequency and vibration before you speak. Know that you are creating your reality through your thoughts, words, and actions. Let Saraswati act as a reassuring reminder that you speak magic into your life. You are a very strong manifester. Know that you are the high priestess know that you are meant to share to give to love and to receive and know that you're protected and you're on the right path she's asking you to be aware of that and listen to that higher power listen to it in your dreams and your actions and music but yeah that's all the messages i have for you make sure to like and subscribe and i hope that helped in any way i could and that made sense but yes that was awesome that was a good reading and have a good rest of your day wherever you're watching, and I hope you'll stick around for other videos or watch my other ones. But yeah, thank you so much. Bye.